I think getting into the top 100 was my greatest achievement. Um, had a couple of great wins that year over world number twos at the time against Michael Chang and Michael Stieck. And um, yeah, it was obviously a long time goal for me to get in the, the top 100 and was delighted to achieve that. Well, that's a tough one. Um, I would probably have to go with my serve was my best shot. But I think uh, having a look at some of the guys out here, I'm not sure that qualifies as best right now. No question for me, my best match was against Michael Chang in LA. Um, just one of those days where you couldn't do anything wrong. And you know, even though you're a set and a break up against the top player, a lot of times you feel as though you're going to lose that match or they're potentially going to come back because that's how good they are. But on that particular day, I knew that once I'd got that break in the second set, that the match was going to be mine. So many great players out there right now. I'm not sure if there's one particular player that I would pay, but the four at the top, uh, Roger, Rafa, Novak and Andy for me um, happily put my hand in the wallet and take out a few notes to go and watch those guys play. Unquestionably for me was uh, Djokovic against Federer at the US Open. Um, it's a special atmosphere anyway inside that stadium. Uh, just the way that both players played, the fluctuations of the match, the fact that Federer was up, then he was down, and Novak coming back, the two match points that Federer had, and the way that Djokovic saved those match points, the stunning tennis that he played on those particular match points down was, for me, the best match that I've seen this year. Probably the hardest question to answer in tennis right now, both such great guys. Uh, being honest, I think Roger um, just has a little more versatility to his game. I feel as though that the way that he plays, very aggressive, very quick out there between the points as well. Um, he just edges it for me. Net because I had no ground stroke, so uh, for me it was all about not allowing the ball to bounce. Hit, come in and bluff. Ball guy for me. Um, I think humans obviously have a, a place uh, in officiating. I think it adds to the drama, the suspense. Um, I think you need the combination of both um, in terms of getting the call and then going to Hawkeye. It's been a great addition to the tour. I think uh, the crowd love it. it. It creates atmosphere at times in matches when there isn't any. Rafa's forehand is the best shot in the world right now. Um, on nearly every single surface, it's just uh, it's such vicious spin. He gets such incredible angle. Um, even when you come in and you get him out wide on the forehand side, he's got that ability to curl it up the line as well. I think it's just a devastating shot. Ever since I worked with Andy, I've always said that he's going to win a major title. I still believe that. He's obviously been close a couple of times at the US Open and the Australian. I still feel some of his best tennis is ahead of him right now. Um, I think it may well come in 2011.